I am officially in nesting mode. Um, we just had our baby shower this past weekend and now I have her room filled with things, which I'm so grateful for. Um, but Elias has not been letting me do literally anything and my energy is in the negatives, okay? I have no energy whatsoever. Yesterday I had a doctor's appointment for my 32 week checkup and they ended up doing blood work and I thought they were just gonna take like, you know, one or two of the little vials. They took four. So when I came home yesterday, I was literally so drained and just so tired and I'm already anemic as it is. So every single time that they take blood, usually I almost pass out, which this time I actually went to my doctor's appointment by myself. Anthony stayed back and watched Elias. He actually took Elias with him to work for like an hour while I was at my appointment and then I went to go pick him up. But anyways, I was by myself and normally whenever I get blood drawn, I have somebody go with me so they can drive me. Um, because I, that's like how likely I am to just be woozy and pass out. So that was kind of scary, but I did feel fine as far as like wooziness and like feeling like I'm going to pass out. It was just my energy was really low and like obviously, like I said, I'm anemic. So every time that they do that, literally all I want to do is sleep. But you can't do that when you have a toddler. So now today, right now he is napping. Um, this is his second nap of the day. The first one I used to take a shower and stuff because you, I've learned that if you use the first nap to do something for yourself like self-care or like just relax on your phone or like just something whatever you want to do not something that you have to do it changes everything like it changes the entire mood for the rest of the day now this is a second nap which is my productivity nap say so we got to get some shit done um hopefully he naps pretty well it is currently 2.41, it took him almost 20 minutes to fall asleep. He was literally just laying in his bed going, la, 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 kicking his feet, you know, whatever, doing his thing. And he just now actually fell asleep. So let's see how much stuff we can get done. I think my first step is going to be moving all of the diapers and wipes into the closet. So that way I can like lay out all of the new things that she got. So I can like determine what needs to be washed, what's going to get hung up and you know, so on and so forth. So this cart is filled with things that I need, but I haven't found a home for yet. I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna put the big old box that has the stroller in it. I'm gonna put that in here. I ended up getting the Graco Ready to Grow LX 2.0. So I already have like the Graco car seat and stroller from Elias, and we're gonna use that exact same um, car seat but the stroller is only a one, like for one kid. So I had to get a whole nother stroller. <laughs> so if you're pregnant with your first kid, make sure that you go ahead and get a double stroller because most of them, if you plan on having more kids, the reason why is because most strollers, they can go from one kid or two kids. So then whenever you only have one kid, obviously you only use the one kid like function in it or whatever, but then you have the option to add a seat for the next kid. Okay, I, I didn't do that, so I had to buy a whole nother stroller. Just a little tip. This is a pack and play. I didn't get one with Elias. I decided to get one this time because anytime that we would go to someone else's house and I wanted to put Elias down for a nap, I couldn't because he would just roll off the bed. So now I have a pack and play so I can take it with us and then he can nap or he can sleep or whatever. Also, so that way whenever we're outside and we're doing things, I don't have to like set him on the ground. There was a time that I literally had to use a dog cage. Oh, not a dog cage. That sounds way wrong. It was one of the, the, the gates, the metal gates for like whenever you have like puppies and stuff or like, do you know what I mean? Like it's not like a cage. Like he wasn't like locked in a cage, but he was like, it was like a metal playpen basically. God, it sounds like I'm torturing my child. Anyway, I got a playpen, okay? I got a playpen. Okay, so now my goal is to, now that I actually have like a little bit more room, my goal is to separate everything um, from like clothes to like bath stuff to like 
you know what you know what I'm trying to say right like I'm, I just need to separate everything so I consolidated everything in two bags um so yeah I just need to go through it that's pretty much it so I can give you guys like a quick little haul everything was on my baby registry so I can list some of the, some of the things in my Amazon storefront if you guys are interested I also did get this little organizer that you guys are looking at right here that's a toy organizer and I got that for my baby shower as well along with the chair I think that's it other than like what's in these bags oh I also got some stuff from Anthony's mom that she sent us like back before she lives out of state so she just sent it straight to our house so I went ahead and like washed all of that stuff and then that way I could go ahead and like start to put it away but she got her like a blanket some muslin cloths some muslin swaddles and some muslin bibs muslin is my absolute favorite I discovered that with Elias I like the cotton stuff um, it works great love it as far as like clothes and stuff but when it comes to burp cloths and bibs and stuff I really like the muslin material because it's a lot thinner Elias's were like so thick that it literally looked like it was choking him so now let's get into these bags so first I want to show you guys look at what Celine's godparents got her so this is from Jose and Maddie and it is custom to her but it is a oh you guys are not gonna be able to see this hold on. okay I'm gonna try to like hold it behind this bag just so you guys can see it um this it is a acrylic sign that says her name on it and then it has this little wooden stand that goes with it so you just put it inside of there and then it lights up and it says her name and it's a seashell because obviously her name is C and um, her room is C themed but it's like a boho C so it's not like the typical like baby blue and you know all that kind of stuff it's like a dusty rose pink obviously if you guys can tell by the curtains back there I'll give you guys a whole tour here in a little bit but it's like seashells and mermaids and starfish and like stuff like that it's just so freaking cute but anyway so this goes literally perfect with her room and it's custom to her so that is super super sweet absolutely love this she got a bow holder of course some bath stuff she got a little baby blanket i put this car seat cover on there because she's going to be born in february or her due date at least is in the very beginning of february and here in texas that's when it's like the absolute coldest for whatever reason that's when it like snows and like all that kind of stuff so I put this on there so that we can put it over her car seat anytime we go anywhere so that she's not freezing. Um, and I, of course I got it in pink. I've never been a pink girl, but all of a sudden I'm having a little girl and now everything is pink and I'm obsessed with it. We got some Passy clips. If you are a first time mom and you're getting pacifier clips, do not get the ones that are beaded. Get the cloth ones because the ones that are like beads going all the way down, they're really stiff. And I noticed every time that we would click it, clip it to Elias, and we would have the passy in his mouth it would be so stiff that if he moved incorrectly it would literally just pop right out and that was at the age whenever he couldn't like pick it up and put it back in his mouth you know what i mean my son only had his pacifier from we didn't even give it to him until he was two months and then we took it away when he was four months so we only had it for two months but that is something that i definitely had to learn my lesson on we got a ginormous pack of bows but i've heard that the uh thicker bows are the best she got a beautiful little knit blanket so stinking cute um more bath stuff but look at how freaking adorable this is my heart cannot handle it i am still like in shock that i'm having a daughter um, this pack of onesies There's some sleepers that she got so my favorite little onesie sleepers are the ones that zip from the bottom to the top or the ones that um, zip both from the bottom and the top like those that have like the two zippers because that makes diaper changing a hell of a lot easier because you don't have to like completely basically get them undressed in order to change or check their diaper mm-hmm did she get two of these oh wait I'm just not realizing she got double of these but that is perfectly fine because we needed more bath towels anyways and Elias I'm sorry baby boy but you're just gonna have to use some girly stuff okay more little bows so this is what they look like these are like all of the neutrally like muted colored ones so the other pack is like super bright vibrant colors like hot pink and like royal blue and that kind of thing and this one is the more muted kind but these are soft oh I really like these 
kind of feels like underwear <laughs> next she got a pack of bibs which the silicone bibs are my absolute favorite they're easy to clean look my grandma got celine this um custom blanket that says her name it says celine stella so freaking adorable it's also from my grandma she got her this cute little outfit oh my gosh she's gonna be a cute little easter outfit for her okay, here's another outfit that my grandma got how adorable um, she got a couple different pairs of little booties and they are so stinking cute look at these look at how adorable that is little feeties are gonna fit in them and they're just so tiny got these little moccasins look at how adorable she also got these little ones and they have like little ears on them they're so stinking cute look next she got a bulk pack of socks which is good because the girl is gonna need them because it's gonna be cold as hell oh i got a lactation massager this time so last pregnancy i didn't get it i was obviously super new to the whole breastfeeding world um i believe i've talked to you guys about it before but i was the only one that really like breastfed my mom hardly breastfed um i don't even know if my grandparents or any like anyone else we are the first friends that had a kid we like i didn't really have much people to talk to like i did research online but then again it's like mixed you know what i mean like everyone says something different kind of so i didn't really know what to go off of but i was hearing that these were unnecessary but then your girl started getting clogs and I had wished that I had one of these. Okay, so this time I put one on my registry and I was like, I'm gonna get it because I'm gonna use the hell out of it. Okay, because I would have used it with my last pregnancy. So this time I made sure to go ahead and get one. So this is a lactation massager by Mom Cozy. And yeah, when Anthony opened this, he's the one that like unpackaged it and he literally was like, what? Like, what, what kind of registry did you make, girly pup? But no, it's literally for breastfeeding. My grandma got Celine a baby book. So this is what it looks like. It's super adorable. I love it. She also got the baby book for Elias. And I'm not going to lie, I haven't really been keeping up with it. She said that this one had like a spot to put like her first haircut. You know, like all the little keepsakes and do like her... um her first tooth oh it's actually in the box so i have to keep the box oh. see it says booties and hats here's a little uh foot stamp thingy so i can do her footprint baby's first years um first tooth hospital bracelet and lock of hair i don't know where she got this from but it says it's camila creations but it's super adorable i absolutely love it she also got this cute little outfit. I'm going to get her some tights because I noticed that um, she didn't get any tights. And I want to have some for, obviously, the winter time. Like, it's going to be cold. So I'm going to get her some um, that she can wear underneath, like, rompers and stuff like this. So for baby monitors, I ended up going with the mom cozy one because this one is a split screen on one monitor. So I can have one camera in Celine's room and one camera in Elias's room. And it will be on the same monitor. That is another thing if you are a first time mom planning on having multiple kids go ahead and get something like this or to where like do research to where you can find one where you can just add a camera because with elias's other one i absolutely love it but the only thing i don't like is one that it doesn't rotate so on this one uh you can actually control on the monitor like like move it around the room pretty much um so that's nice also uh with elias's other one i can't Add a camera so I had to buy a little complete separate one um, either I could buy this or I could have bought like another single but then I would have had two monitors so I decided to go with this one because it's one monitor split screens for both kids and it rotates and it just seemed like a it seemed like a good one I don't know it had like decent reviews um, there were so many different cameras so I'm hoping that I really like this one but it's mom cozy and I really love the brand mom cozy so hopefully it's all right and then of course she got like um bath sets like bath soaps and stuff like that so she got a bunch of johnson and johnson stuff and then she got the avino baby which this is the one that we use for elias all the time and it works super great for him so we also got one of these and then i got a drying rack 
so i actually already have one of these but it, i'm kind of happy that we got another one because the one that we have got really bad sun damage because it's sitting right next to the kitchen window and i used it so freaking much so honestly i might put one on both sides of the sink because this thing was constantly full whenever i was washing bottles for elias so and then i think that's pretty much it so now i need to actually unpackage and go through all of this stuff i'm also gonna have to make anthony hang up the tv and i need him to mount the cameras okay so i went ahead and threw everything into the washing machine and then i collected like all of the trash and stuff which is boring y'all don't care about any of that but now i have this cart okay and there's like random stuff on here and I need to figure out what I'm going to do with all of it. A bunch of diapers that were left from Elias that I ended up keeping because I didn't know what else to do with them. So I think I might can add these to the pile in the closet maybe because these are all like these are all newborn diapers right here. Plus I have an extra box, plus I already have the caddy on top of the dresser filled. So I don't know, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I originally bought this um, when I was pregnant with Elias because I used it to keep all of my breast pump stuff and like extra diapers and extra wipes and anything like that. Like I kept it all on here because I could roll it from like my room to the living room to his bedroom, blah, blah, blah. Um, so I think I might do that again because I actually really liked that. So I think I'm going to kind of set this up to be that like mobile cart type situation. I'm going to first take everything off. I'm going to load the top with wipes and diapers. I'm going to load the middle with um, breast pump stuff. And then I'm going to load the bottom with extras. So like extra pacifiers um i don't even know what else maybe like some passy clips or something oh maybe like burp cloths and stuff we'll put some of those on here these diapers are so freaking small elias is in a size six right now so seeing these diapers is like unreal <gasps> Oh my gosh, she's going to be so little. Okay, I think I'm only going to do one pack and then I'm going to put the rest in the closet. I have this entire bin on top of her little thing that has more breastfeeding stuff in it. So it has like my reusable um, little pads. It has my nipple shields, um, my manual breast pump which is a lifesaver, okay. I'm gonna put that in there. It also has um, storage bags, which will probably eventually go in the kitchen, but I'm just gonna put them in here for now. It has my um, flanges, is that what those are called? The sizing or things or whatever. It has my haka and then more nursing pads except these are disposable ones so elias is still sleeping it's currently like four something right now like 4 15 ish um and elias is still asleep so i feel like he's gonna wake up soon so i'm just gonna keep trying to see what else i can get done the floor is cleaned um all of that like those two bags plus that is all trash um, I ended up moving the TV over so that way I can actually start going through these drawers because in most of these drawers are all like, I mean, it's not all hand-me-down stuff like this, obviously, the little elephant thing, whatever. I have a couple of things that I can probably get rid of now, but there is still some things that I'm going to keep. So I think what anything that I'm going to keep that isn't like new for her, I'm going to end up putting in that box there because literally there's stuff in every single one of these drawers and i just feel like oh wait maybe not every single one but most of them have stuff in them so i want to clear it out and to be able to put like her stuff in there and then just have the box of extra stuff in case we need something else
pretty much filled up this little bin for the most part. So I'm gonna put this under the bed. Um, and Elisha's woke up, so I'm either gonna continue this later today or it could be tomorrow. I think uh, Grandpa's gonna come and take Elias to an indoor park tomorrow. So if he does that, then we will be in here finishing some stuff up. Okay, so it is the next day. Um, I understand that I'm wearing the same sweatshirt. If you only wear your sweatshirt for one day and then you put in the dirty clothes, that's a waste, okay? I'm a stay-at-home mom, I don't care, mind your business. Anyways, so Elias is with Grandpa right now, so we are back in Celine's room, okay? We're trying to see what we can get done because I just need to finish this room because I really wanna show you guys and just be done with it. That way I can focus on Christmas and then focus on her like actually getting here. So, um, I have her car seat. I've already completely stripped it and washed like all of the cloth and you know, did the whole, the whole thing because this was Elias' car seat. So now I'm gonna put on the cover that I got for the baby shower and then I'm just gonna keep it in my trunk because I just, I don't have room for it. I could keep it in here in her room, but it's just so big and bulky and I'm trying to like show you guys her room and just completely like clear everything out because the clutter is giving me anxiety. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the trunk of my car. I'm not gonna like actually attach it just in case like someone needs to ride with us or something, but um, I am just gonna throw it in my trunk for now. Look, and then it like unzips, and then you go peekaboo, baby, and then you put it back. And then you can also do this and clip it here so that way you can see baby, or you can unclip this. Whoa, oh, wait, is this supposed to clip here? And then this one clips here. Is that a thing? So then you can see baby. Wow. Okay, now I'm gonna go put it in my car really quick. Okay, so now I have this toy bin and I kind of want to make it like kind of pretty. I mean, she doesn't have like any aesthetic toys or anything, but I just want to like lay out some of her stuff. And then I have these little bins that I can put in here as well, just to have like a couple of little random things, like maybe some teethers and that kind of stuff. I already know Eliza's is going to come in here and probably mess up the entire thing but that's fine i'm not too worried about it i just want to kind of make it pretty just a little bit for um how should i do this i just kind of want to make it like at least a little bit pretty so that way it's not just random stuff all over the place okay toys like this kind of stuff i can stand up like this she has like a bunch of teethers and stuff so i think i'm gonna put some of that stuff in here. I'm honestly realizing she got like zero toys. Like I don't think she got any type of toy or teether for the baby shower. But that's okay because Anthony and I, um, we're going to do exactly like we did last time with Elias. And basically we had the baby shower and then we took a trip to Walmart and we literally just like went down the aisles and whatever we wanted to get for him, we got for him, like anything he didn't get. So I remember us getting like some bath toys, some teethers. Um, I don't remember what else we got, but we just got like the random things that like we wanted to get for him that I was eyeballing or something that I thought, you know, he would just like, like toys and stuff. So we're probably gonna do that with Celine as well. Well, she doesn't have much over here, so that's just gonna have to stay like that. And then as we get new things, I'm just gonna put them over here. Okay. 
Okay, so I have two pieces of wall decor and I have no idea where to put them. So I need your help. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you guys really quick kind of what I'm working with. Um, mind you, her room is not completely finished, but you guys will see the absolute final finished product um, at the end of this video. Uh, of course, things are gonna constantly change. I'm literally still to this day changing things in Elias's room, but I will show you guys what it's looking like so far. Everything is in its place for the most part. So anyways, help me figure out where to put these signs, okay? So hang on, let me put you on a tripod. Okay, so the first item that I have is this mermaid tail. So I actually thrifted this. I went to a Goodwill um, like a couple of months ago and I, when I walked in, so this is a Goodwill that I've never been to, okay? I walked into this Goodwill and I don't think we had any intentions. It was mostly just a we're bored type of situation. And I I stumbled upon this bad boy. Um, this is an item that like you have to be like there there has to be a purpose to it. Okay, like you don't just buy this. So, anyways, since her room is sea themed and it's boho neutrally uh, type of vibes, which you guys will see all of the details later. But um, I ended up finding this, which is absolutely insane. This was only five ninety nine. I paid $5.99 for this. Um, it's not as heavy as it looks. It's actually like, I think it's hollow, but I don't know where to hang it in her room, okay? I don't know if I should hang it this way and then have it be like a tabletop type situation, like put like, I don't know, maybe a vase or something on top or if I should just like hang her sideways or if I should hang her upside down. Like I just, I just don't know. Okay, I need help. Sorry, my light keeps going in and out. I have overhead and a, a light behind you guys. But anyways, so I just don't know where to put it. I also have this sign. Um, honestly, this doesn't have to go up, but I would like for it to only because I've had this for probably like six or seven years at this point. I don't know why I still have it. I don't know why I kept on to it or held on to it. I don't know where it's been it just kind of appeared and this pink right here goes perfectly with her room the vibes of this goes literally perfect so um i'm gonna hang it up in here i just don't know where oh i also got this one on sale this was at ross for 7.99 apparently so i have this giant like corner above the chair right here so i think i'm gonna put the tv up there like in the corner because that's like the only space that I have what the other wall looks like so there's like a lot of space and stuff like especially around the mirror but the problem is that if I just put one thing right there it's gonna look weird so I could put it up there I could put it up there I could put it up there I'm kind of thinking above that is the vibe I don't know where to put the mermaid tail um I'm thinking in this corner what if I put it Does that look weird? I feel like it, okay, and then do I do it this way or do I do I flip it? Is that too much going on over here? I feel like there's too much over here and not enough on that wall. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm stuck. So the room is pretty much done. All I have to do is wait for Anthony to hang up some stuff and then I gotta hang up the bows real quick, put away her laundry that we washed and folded yesterday, which that's, I mean, I'm not really gonna organize it super, super well because there's not much. Um, we're gonna have to go shopping and then whenever we do that, then I will like really organize. But basically the only like organization um, style i have or strategy or whatever is every drawer is a different size okay well for the most part so i usually do or how i did it with elias and what worked is i put um all like newborn in the first drawer zero to three in the second drawer three to six six to nine blah 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 went all the way and then the extra drawers that i had i used it for like blankets burp cloths bibs that kind of stuff like swaddles so on so forth so that's pretty much all that I'm going to be doing this time too um, because then I also have a lot of the stuff hung up um, that's going to be like outfit outfit. The only thing that's going to be in the drawers is going to be like onesies and sleepers for the most part 
everything else is going to be hung up because in my opinion it is way easier whenever you hang up sets okay so anything that is a set will be hung up as a set especially whenever you have a husband that is lazy if he does not know like i'm gonna remember like oh this onesie has a matching pair of pants he's not gonna know that so instead i just put the set in the in like hanging up already so anything else is gonna go in the drawers and that's pretty much it her closet is still messy okay don't get a test it i still I still need to like really go through that and everything but that's not the end of the world because a lot of it is like stuff for her like it's like stuff that we're gonna use that I just don't want to pull out yet like her snuggle me um the bathtub chair she's like a swing in there she has the the bumbo in there uh that kind of stuff that like she's not gonna use right off the jump so it's just chilling in her closet so anyways that's pretty much it I'm gonna have Anthony hang up the TV and everything when he gets home and then that will be it now you can cue the footage of the room like the aesthetic cinematic footage here is baby girl's room my love we cannot wait to meet you I am so freaking excited I'm placing bets right now that I'm gonna go into labor on February 2nd I don't know why that just came to my head but February 2nd that's when I think I'm going into labor I'm due February 5th so what do you guys think what do y'all think? I'm thinking February 2nd or the 8th. The only reason I say the 8th is because that I did a TikTok filter and it said the 8th. So my vote is that I'm going to go into labor on February 2nd or February 8th. So comment down below what you think. And if you're right, uh, congratulations. <laughs> Anyways, here is baby girl's boho sea themed nursery.